Now this comes as news spreads that one of the white supremacists who took part in the violent rally in Charlottesville could be coming to Florida next. We've shared this with you. Richard Spencer is planning a rally at the University of Florida next month. He's the head of the National Policy Institute. He claims to be the founder of the so-called alt-right movement. Governor Rick Scott has reached out to law enforcement to make sure that if that rally happens, they're ready. But 10 News reporter Grady Trimble talked to a local state senator who's asking the university to cancel that event. This is not just the public square. Senator Kelly Stargell says our state universities have to draw the line, not letting white supremacists like Richard Spencer speak on campus. Are we going to let the head of ISIS show up at our universities and decide to uh, open up and, and have a conversation with our students or the leader of a, of a gang or any of those? There's, there has to be a parameter in place. In a letter posted to Facebook following the violence in Charlottesville, the University of Florida's president said Spencer is planning an event at the college. It's not affiliated with UF and no student groups are sponsoring it. He added Spencer's presence would be deeply disturbing, but we must follow the law. The president makes a good point in the letter. On the one hand, the university has to protect the First Amendment and free speech, but on the other hand, it also has to protect its students. Student safety has always got to come first. Political science professor Dr. Bruce Anderson says free speech, even racist hate speech, is protected. But in this case, the university has the right to turn Spencer away. I think they can simply say, you know, we have, you know, 60,000 people on this campus that could be under threat. Well, we don't invite trouble. Gainesville police posted on Facebook saying they're talking with local, state, and federal law enforcement ahead of the event. Still, Stargell thinks it'd be safer to avoid it altogether. We all do have free speech, but there are parameters on that if it's looking at endangering other people. In Lakeland, Grady Trimble, 10 News. Now, Spencer's visit to UF isn't set in stone. The school's president says he has reached out to other universities who've dealt with similar issues in the past.